All right. Let's take a quick. Well, let's shut this. Up. Let's take a quick look at some chainsaw bars and my opinion about some of them. Uh, we got the Husqvarna. One, they're X-Tough Light. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's made by Suji. The Still Samara, lightweight. And then just the standard Husqvarna bar, which I think is made by Oregon. So, um, I'll get some weights on these. And that way you can see how much each one weigh. Um, right from the get-go, my opinion on them is, I know I've weighed these before, and I'm pretty sure these are similar in weight. This one I know is a little heavier than these two, and this one obviously is going to be the heaviest. But what you trade off is a little bit of durability or stiffness. Like I know this one is the most flexible one. The most flexible one, like when, you, when you're using it, it's a little bit more flexible. Um, also with the Samara, I don't know what happened, but I got a huge crack in it. So this bar is pretty much junk. Like I may try to use it just until it breaks. I've also heard from other people that the tips don't last as long, but mine cracked, which to me, and this bar is not that old. I mean, you can see that it's not that used and abused. I haven't even, oh, and it took a, and it got a big chip out of it right here. Big chip got taken out of it. So I don't know if this bar got over hardened or what happened with this bar, but it's not, it's usability has gone way down because it's basically almost junk and it's not that old. It's about the same age as this one. And this one I have put way more hours on. I have a lot of use on that bar. This one, I... I have a decent amount of hours on. I actually really enjoy this bar. It's a little bit heavier, so it, it tends to take the weight of the saw and the tip will go down a little bit on it just because it's a little heavier, but it's still not as heavy as this. And the durability on this is, I haven't had any problems with this bar at all. Um, even the wear, like there's not, there's not as much wear on here. As the still bar, the still bar, I have the most amount of hours on. Um, it seems to me that the, it's a little softer. The metal is a little softer and it wears more. Like I'm going to have to replace the tip pretty soon. I have some wear on the tip from chain slap. It's pretty worn, but this bar can take a beating and keeps on ticking along here. I've dressed this bar and pinched the rails tighter so they don't have as much chain slop. The only thing is I run Husvarna, Husvarna, and uh, you have to modify it. You gotta in long, make the slot longer, make the slot longer, and you have to either modify the clutch cover so that the adjuster fits in this hole, or you have to make the hole in the bar bigger, which I just made the hole in the bar bigger. And then I milled this out with a, just the a Dremel to make this. So I have the adjustment with the chain because it runs 90, this is a 20, these are all 28 inch bars. They all run like almost different length counts. This is 93, this is 91, this is 92. And I'm pretty, pretty sure this is 93. Yeah, 93. Um, so if you run 92 links on your chain, you can run all of them and have your adjustment. 
is what I kind of found out. If you run 92 links, you can run them all. The 93, you'll just be further back on your adjustment. And with this one, with the still, you'll be a little further out on your adjustment, but you're still not like maxed out or anything of that nature. And so 92 links, you can run them all on a 28 inch bar if you're running a Husqvarna. Still, if you're running a still, it doesn't matter. You just run this bar and it's the normal, the normal link count. So I will get the scale out and we'll get some weights. Um, what else am I gonna show you? Let's see, hold on a second. If you are running this bar, I have the adapter for it. And this just goes on your, your bar studs. And then that takes up the slop in the bar. And um, it's hard to get that to sit in there. It's pretty tight actually. You just need to find some way to get the, to take up the, the slop. But anyways, this goes on the saw and that allows you to run the still bars. And like I said, I really like this bar. They're a bit more expensive, I think. Don't quote me on this though. This is cheaper. I don't remember the price on these, 130 some dollars. Can't remember the price on that either. Um, but yeah, so, and then that's just your standard bar. Um, I'll get the scale and we can just weigh these quick and then you'll see the weights on them and then you'll know, kind of know the difference in the weights. All right, so hold tight. All right, we got the scale all zeroed out. Let's just start with the, Let's start with the normal bar. How much does a normal 28 inch bar weigh? So we got three pounds, 12.9 ounces. So three pounds, basically 13 ounces. And that is, these are all 28 inch bars. So that's just your normal Oregon standard bar. Next, we'll do the Samara. Two pounds, 14.3 ounces. So that's for a Samara. 28 inch bar. Missing a chunk of metal. The still. Ooh. Two pounds, 9.8 ounces. 9.8 ounces. It's missing a little metal in there too, especially up in the tip. So that was for a still, that's 28 inch bar. I'm pretty sure it's a Suji. I'm pretty sure that's who makes it. Three pounds, 4.4 ounces. So definitely heavier, heavier than the still. But it is, it is stiffer. It is stiffer. So like if you're trying to clean up your cut and you're trying to, you know, use the tip of your bar and try to clean your, your undercut up, the bar is definitely stiffer. It's not as flexy as the still. I noticed the Samara is definitely a lot more floppy and that's even at 28 inches. I don't, I don't have any other Samara bars. I never got a bigger one. Uh, oh, I actually do have two 32 inch bars. We can weigh up and see what those weigh. Uh, yeah, 
Might as well get those. All right, so for the 32 inch, whoops. Get this all zeroed out. Oakley doakley do. So these are 32 inch bars. Um, the still at this bar now. So, let's see. Oops. Clang it in the old coffee cup here. Better get that off of there. So three pounds, 14.5 ounces. So this almost weighs the same as a regular weight 28 inch bar. And the still, zero it out. Three pounds, 2.6 ounces. Look at that. That's for a 32 inch bar. Yeah. And then just for fun, I only have one of these, but a 36 inch still light bar weighs 3 pounds 7.7 .7 ounces. So that is for a 36 inch still light bar. But like I said, the only thing with running them on a Husqvarna is you have to modify this stuff, which takes extra time. So if you want something that you can just slap on, then on a Husqvarna at least, and not worry about screwing around with, with milling this out here, and just getting that to, and getting the an adapter. And if you don't care about weight, then just go with something else if you're running a Husqvarna. So yeah, that is the bars that I have and run. I really do like the stills though. Um, these Husqvarna ones are nice though too. I have no problem with them. And uh, they really seem to wear nice. Like I said, I don't know if I'd go with another Samara after that experience. Why would I spend Why would I spend the money on it if it's gonna do this? I don't know if any anybody else has had issues with that. Um, but yeah, I was not happy with that. Like that is about ready to break. I mean, so yeah, that's what I got to say about bars. What you what you make up for in being light, you lose the rigidity. It's just not as rigid. And with them being light or being the manufacturer taking the time to do this, like they mill out these little spots here and then fill them with resin, the cost of them goes up. So they are more expensive. But if you're lugging around a cell all day and the weight, and you're worried about weight, then the lightweight bars are nice or reduced weight. So, cause after, at the end of the day, the weight can add up. It just depends on you. What do you like and what do you want to run? I'm just showing you some different options and some different weights and kind of my opinion of them. I do like how these wear. These seem to be a little softer. I've noticed that because this 28 inch bar I use the most and I've had to do I use it the most which means I'm going to obviously have more maintenance with it more bar maintenance with it but it just seems to be a little bit softer metal like I've always noticed on the on the rail that it it's just it wears quicker because I use that other 28 inch Husqvarna one quite a bit too and that one just seems to be 
where it just seems to be like a rock. Like it's just so, it's just hard, hard and stiff. So that's a good option too, if you're running a Husqvarna or Suji, Sujihara. I don't even know how to pronounce it really, Suji. That's who I'm pretty sure that makes these. So yeah, that is my little talk about bars. If you enjoy what you see, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave your comment or feedback on what you're seeing here, or just leave some of your experience about bars. Maybe something to try. I mean, I've not tried them all. I've just tried, I've tried these ones. And like I said, my favorite are definitely this Suji, House Bar and a branded bar, and the Still. I really do like these bars a lot. The only thing I don't like about them is modifying them to run on a Husqvarna. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy yourself a cup of coffee or whatever you enjoy. And have a good one. Thank you.